Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your match reaction. Manchester United nil, Newcastle nil. It has been a very, very disappointing draw, in my opinion. It's just dreadful. Where do we start? I mean, Newcastle will take this point all day long. That is given. I mean, even when we started the match, Newcastle would have taken a draw in this game. But they also had the better chance in the first half. But Manchester United just uh, shaded the second half just a little bit. Fred and Marcus Rashford both guilty of missing a really presentable opportunity after uh, Joe Linton, I believe, had struck the woodwork twice in quick succession. I think overall, I think Newcastle had the better chance than Manchester United. I think they, do, they deserve a draw in this game. We don't deserve to win this game, guys. We haven't created enough chance for us to be sitting here and saying we deserve to win this game. We don't deserve to win this game. It was actually the ninth time uh, Newcastle struck the goal frame this uh, this year. But that's, that's not, it's not really the point that I want to get to. What I want to get to is how dreadful and how trash we were in this match. And the manager has to face consequences for his decision. David De Gea for me, I mean, hasn't called up on any action. They've had decent opportunities, but David De Gea didn't make a save. He didn't have anything to do with it. Uh, De Lodge didn't, I mean, he did go forward as often as I liked, but hasn't produced any quality in terms of creating chances for the front four or for the, for, for the front three. It was an average performance from De Lodge and Shaw. Both fullbacks, I believe, they didn't give us enough in this game. They did go forward a lot of times consecutively, but the delivery was bad. The crosses were bad from Shaw and Delote. Uh, in the middle, Martinez and Varane, of course. I don't know. Like, what would you do? That's an average performance. I mean, we haven't been under pressure a lot of times. Yes, they did clear out some of the dangerous set pieces coming in from uh from newcastle but overall i i don't think they've been tested that much it's an average game from both of them they didn't make any mistake average game average game martinez and varan uh, in the middle of the park casemiro i think he was decent he cleared out a lot of mistakes that was being done from the top four but in terms of passing i think uh he was okay compared to fred i mean fred was awful in this game I actually put Ericsson here by mistake, but it's actually Fred. But Fred was just awful, awful in this match. I don't know how he lasted the entire game, guys. I really, really don't how Fred actually lasted the entire 90 minutes. It's just beyond me. How the manager leaves them on. We needed, clearly, you're looking at the first half, we can clearly see we lack creativity. We missed Ericsson so much. I actually put him here by mistake. We miss him so much. I'm desperate. I was actually desperate we had him today because we couldn't create anything, really, like a clear-cut chance. Not, not many, especially at Old Trafford. You expect to create loads of chances, but that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case today. Uh, Fred, I think, out of everybody, was the worst player on the pitch. I'll talk about who was actually a decent player on the pitch, but Fred was one of the worst, if not the worst player, in my opinion. Again, I really don't know how he lasted that long. And Eric Ten Hag has to come out and say why he didn't take him off. We clearly lacked creativity. And he also, by the way, he also missed a clear-cut chance. Chance created by Marcus Rashford in the second half. Marcus Rashford actually passes the goalkeeper, and he passed it to... Um, Fred, Fred with an open goal to shoot, he misses. Awful, awful game from Fred. Awful game. Um, uh, Bruno. Again, this is my issue with Bruno. Like, Bruno, a lot of times now, this season, you see him time after time. He's just, his efficiency level is just dropping every single game. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Again, the manager... The manager has to come out and answer why that is the reason. But it's just, everything he does is just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, 
we need a better player in that position. That's all I'm trying to say. Like Bruno is not the number 10 that you would want. Like Bruno is not David Silva or Bernardo Silva, or he's not even like Ericsson. He doesn't create chances. He creates chances based on multiple tries, Hollywood passes, and always shooting outside the box. Bro, like you're there to create chances, not to score. But every time I see him play, it looks like he wants to score. He wants to be on the score sheet. He's just somehow chasing a stat. It just doesn't look nice. And he's just yawning, whining the whole game. On the referee, he's just whining. The referee, by the way, we, we haven't gotten to that. I don't want to put this on the referee. That's why I didn't talk about the referee. I wanted to go through the players first before I talk about the referee. But awful, awful game from Bruno as well. Sancho, I thought he should have started based on his performance last game. But I haven't seen enough. He missed a couple of chances uh, to find Cristiano with uh, overhit passes or deciding to shoot or deciding to cut back in and shoot. Not good enough from Sancho. Not good enough. Anthony was the only bright spark in this game for me. He dribbled past players. He was trying to make something happen. He was the only player actually who actually did something in this match. Who could actually come out and say, I've done what I could in this match as Anthony for me. I think he's awesome. He hasn't been like outstanding, but he was he, he was the better players out of all the players that we had. Just incredible. Um, Cristiano, of course, this is a huge one. Like Cristiano was just lacking any sort of creativity from the midfield. He was just desperate up front. It's like a graveyard shift. I mean, he's on his own. Nobody's creating chances. Nobody's finding him with a cross. Nobody's putting him through with a through ball. Nobody's doing anything for that front. Uh, this is not the first time, by the way, for the forward. We've seen it under Ole. We've seen it under Ragnik. And now we're seeing it under Ten Hag. The front forward starving for chances, especially in this match now. What can you do? And then he decides to take him off in the 70th minute. That's an awful, awful decision. The moment he took him off, we were, we, you just, Stopped being threatening for the entire 20 minutes that is left. Yes, we created a chance for Rashford in the end, but the level of the offense just dropped at the moment he took him off because he took off the biggest threat we could have. He needs to come out and answer why he did that. I believe I can go further and say that I believe he, 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 he has something against Christian. Not in terms of performance. I think personally he doesn't like him. Personally, he has issues. That's what I think. Because if it's based on performance, he shouldn't be taking him off because he didn't get any chances. The two chances he, I mean, the one chance he had, which was called offside, he put the ball in the back of the net. What else do you need him to do? It's just ridiculous from Ten Hag. He needs to come out and answer why he chose that. I told you every, the moment he took him off, I knew we weren't getting anything in that game. And it turned out to be that way because... We didn't win. We lost two points because of his decision, because of his formation, because of his decision to pull out one of the greatest players of all time. It's just incredible. I cannot stand that manager. It's just, I'm behind him. We need to give him time. But some of the decisions, I mean, Fred staying on the pitch, taking off one of the top goal scorers when you need a goal. How stupid can you be? Have you not been watching the Premier League last season? Even this season. It's just, I don't know. It's just mind boggling to me why he took off Cristiano. He needs to come out and answer for that. Uh, Rashford came on, had a decent chance, one on ones, misses, uh, not one on ones, but a decent clear header. And in the 94th minute, he missed another one. Uh, he passed the goalkeeper, created a chance for Fred. He did okay, Rashford. I'm not complaining that Rashford came on. I'm complaining that he took off Cristiano because he should have taken off Fred, put Bruno in a Fred position and put Marcus Rashford behind Cristiano or put Anthony or Sancho behind Cristiano. That's what he needed to do to win the game. And he didn't do that. And because of that, we failed to get three points. And that's it. And he will, he will absolutely take 100% blame for me. Uh, in terms of the referee... 
the referee was dodgy. I mean, this referee was just awful. We could have we could have gotten two penalties he didn't give us. One for uh, Sancho, one for probably uh, Cristiano as well. Okay, the Cristiano one, you could say it's 50-50, might not be called, but the entire game, this referee was dodgy. But I'm not here sitting here saying it's because of a referee, we drop points. Let's be clear. That's because of the manager, we drop points. Credit is due when you do something great. And this manager hasn't done anything great in this manager. And I'm not, I'm not blaming the players. I'm blaming the manager, how we set up the team and some of his decisions and his substitutes. But that's been my reaction, guys. Disappointing. Very, very disappointing. We have Tottenham and Chelsea coming up. Now it's a must-win game for us. Basically get close in the top four. But let me know what you guys think in the, uh, in the comment sections below. Who was your man of the match? Are you agreeing with Ten Hag's formation? Do you agree with his decision? Do you agree with... Uh, him pulling out Cristiano and ta uh, and putting in Rashford and and leaving Fred on the field. Do you agree with that? Leave me your comments. Uh, give me your thoughts. That's it, man. Disappointing. Disappointing. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel as always. Smash a like on the video as well. Oh, guys, peace.